An iconic bridge in the capital city has been stuck in the up position, as you can see right here, for more than four decades. And now state officials have plans to deal with the decaying structure. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Bafodi is in Providence with details on the plans and what capital city officials want done instead. Behind me is a familiar sight, the Crook Point Bascule Bridge. It's been in that opposition for 43 years. Now more than a century after it's been built, state officials say the time has come for that deteriorating bridge to be torn down. The year was 1907 when the Crook Point Bridge was built as part of the New Haven Railroad spanning over the Seekonk River. It connected the capital city to East Providence. It's something that I think a lot of people identify with as an icon of Providence's sort of skyline. The bridge was abandoned due to declining use. In 1976, it was put in its up position to allow large boats to pass and stayed that way ever since. As years turned into decades, Rhode Island's Department of Transportation finally decided to take action. Tucked in the state's 10-year transportation improvement program, known as Roadworks, a total of $6 million is earmarked to demolish the Crook Point Bridge in 2026 and 2027. There's definitely a need to take it down. People can get hurt. There's uh, liability issues. Uh, it's in bad shape. There is an access point from Gano Street which attracts many. Several videos are posted online showing some people even climbing the bridge. The fence meant to block access has been cut several times over the years. The DOT says maintenance crews have to repair the fence often. Unfortunately, people find a way uh, to either get around it, get through it. Uh, so it continues to be a, an attractive nuisance. Providence police say since 2014, crews responded to the Crook Point Bridge 17 times, 11 of those times for people on the bridge. The city has different hopes for the bridge. A spokesperson for Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza says they would like the bridge to be preserved, not torn down. Brent Runyon of the Providence Preservation Society also would like to see it preserved. He believes the bridge may be eligible for the National Register of Historic Places. You know, to lose the bridge uh, would really uh, sort of unlink us from that rail history as well as the East Side Tunnel, which I think we all hope can be reused someday. The DOT says they will work with preservation groups, surrounded communities, and the Coast Guard during the demolition process. But for us to see the first idea they have is demolition, that's something that's really uh, startling to us. Devine says the majority of the structure would need to be torn down, but repurposing some of the bridge is not out of the question. Perhaps by keeping the piers, it, it lends itself to an opportunity in the future. Now the mayor's office tells me they are engaging the Department of Transportation in hopes that they would transfer rights to the bridge over to the city. Reporting in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.